Well, it's known as Kirsty TV. Kirsty TV. Kirsty TV. Tell us about Kirsty TV and the stories that you tell and how it impacts the lives of others. I believe that when we share our stories, we heal not only ourselves but others. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. The day that the judge reads out to you that you're going to prison for 16 and a half years. There was no tomorrow. There wasn't even a right now. It was such a dark, black place to live in. It was like spiraling quickly downwards. I would feel nothing, and that was what I wanted to feel. What's that day like, going to the hospital, arriving there? When you see a doctor cry, then that makes you a little concerned. At that point, I just said, OK, I'm going to die here, but I don't want to die like an animal, and I don't want to die sad. <laughs> I knew what I felt for him was different than I had ever felt for any girlfriend that I had ever had. And then came the shame part. Are you afraid of dying? Oh, no. My bank account says live, honey. <laughs> <laughs> so the world's most advanced bionic arm. Could you crush my hand if you wanted to? Yeah. <laughs> 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 There's a big part of the show that we tell people stories and they've overcome huge adversity and challenge in their life. I wanted to die, but now here I am saying, that's the best thing that ever happened to me. I like to leave with hope and inspiration. <laughs> Everything's gonna be all right. Oh. Don't worry. So what have they learned from that? First of all, I am in charge of my own happiness. Who are they today? I'm actually really blessed to be where I am in my life. How do they move forward and on with their life so that they can inspire others? We have to find the moment of gratitude, and then we can go forward. Awesome. The desire to heal has to be greater than your fear. Oh my god, this is fun. <laughs>